have LeBron and AD. I'm just it, it, it's it's no, but I'm, I'm saying I'm saying like just I, mean, I don't mean it like that literal. I'm no, 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 I know, but I just like, let's curious. say like again, let's just say you have let's say you took Ben Simmons off the Nets and you replaced him with Ke- with LeBron James, and yeah. then you took and then you took uh, you took Kevin Durant off the Nets and you replaced him with Anthony Davis. The Brooklyn okay. Nets would be the best team in the NBA. The Lakers could essentially the Lakers could essentially do that. Just have an even quick swap and everyone's done. Easy peasy. But real quick before we continue, uh, Golden Eagle, thank you so much for the twenty dollars super chat. We really appreciate that. You are very kind, very awesome. As Laker fans, y'all should actually ask the Nets to include Ben Simmons in a trade, at least in the hopes that he can become close to once he once was. Your thoughts? Uh, you want me to go first? Or you want to go first? Uh, I'll go first. Um, again, thank you, Golden Eagle. Really appreciate it. Um, the Ben Simmons debacle. I look, look. I, I think Ben Simmons is a good player. I think he's he's great. You know what I mean? He has the skill set. Like at times, he's shown that he could be, you know, up there with the Jason Tatum's and like he his his the quality level of of Ben Simmons is really good. But my only issue that I have with Ben Simmons, it's it's too spotty for an NBA level performance and for an NBA level elite player that he really should be. It's too much of a spotty. Like he's there for you in spurts, but then he's not there for you. And like, it's like, it's almost like he he's not, his head is not really in the game. And I think for the Lakers, it's too much of a gamble. Um, unless, unless you really give him very little play time, right. Or just have him come off the bench. But then again, at that point, you know what I mean? Like, why have him on your, your roster at that point? You know what I mean? I just – I don't really see him having a purpose and a role on the Lakers because if you look at it, where does he really fit in? I don't I, – I don't. I just, I just don't see that. Now, again, I would love it, but not with the team that we currently have constructed right now. What do you think? So, if he's an add-on, like, I wouldn't – I wouldn't let Ben Simmons be the deciding factor. Um, ben Simmons – is just again, he's just for whatever reason mentally, he just doesn't seem to be there uh, like he once was. That's a real problem. But I think if anyone could get him back to being Ben Simmons, it would be LeBron. Don't say it. You think so? Absolutely. I mean, Ben Simmons is a poor man's LeBron James. Like that's who he was always compared to: the passing, the size, the 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 strong finishes, the strong takes. The you know, like. If anybody could get Ben Simmons out of his, like, funk, I think it would be LeBron James. And you would have a coach in Darvin Ham who is a player's coach who, like, that dude might as well be – like, he has a career in motivational speaking. That dude just has everybody believing so much. So yeah. if push came to shove, I don't think it would be the worst thing in the world. But it would be really hard to get there. <laughs> um but I do think LeBron James. I think LeBron James could get Ben Simmons out, and if Ben Simmons can return to even half of what he was in Philly form, and be our, our sort of guard off the bench or our point forward off the bench, we would be terrifying for the next few years. Because then Ben Simmons, once LeBron leaves, Ben Simmons could fit into that you know LeBron role, and you still have Kyrie and Anthony Davis. Like I absolutely do think that if but do you he, think that gamble, that's the only thing. Like I. You know, it's 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 a tough, it's a tough move. If he could, the, the it's a tough move. Three years ago, it would have been an absolute no-brainer. Oh, Three years ago, yeah, yeah. Like, are you stupid? Dave, easy, get the ben easy. Simmons. No, no, but, easy. I and I agree with you. I do. Problem is, is that the last few years we have seen Ben Simmons like completely fall off a cliff. But it's not talent wise. He, like, no, he still not. has – he's had games with the Brooklyn Nets where he's been great. He just cannot score and cannot shoot the ball. But here's the thing. If the Lakers were to get Kyrie Irving, you wouldn't need Ben Simmons to shoot the ball. Like, you wouldn't. I mean, you, you have Kyrie, you have LeBron James, you have Anthony Davis. Plus, you probably get like – you could probably get a bunch of other pieces. But I would say if I'm taking Ben Simmons, I am giving you zero draft picks. None. I am taking Kyrie Irving. I am taking Ben Simmons. Yeah. And if I have to, I'll take Joe Harris. But you get no draft picks. None. Well, I'll give you maybe a pick swap or something like that, a couple seconds, whatever. But because you are basically solving all of the Brooklyn Nets problems, all of it. You just took all you just took all of Ben Simmons' money. You just freed up a hundred plus million in cap space. You're getting no, you're getting no you're not getting our first round picks. But we can do something that no other team can do. If you take if I took Ben Simmons, I'm not giving you a, I'm not giving you any draft picks. 
or I'm giving you like I'll give you a first, but it's going to be a, a like top twenty protected or top fifteen protected, something crazy like that. Like, sure, we'll give you yeah. the first round pick, but it's it's top fifteen protected. Like you know, so like to where it basically you basically just gave them a pick for the name, right? Yeah. Like that's all it is, right? So, um, but yeah, like you're not getting like an unprotected first and. We're taking on Ben Simmons and we're trading Kyrie. Like at that point, it's not even worth it. And that, that point, you know, let somebody else do that. And then hopefully you can entice Kyrie to come in the offseason. Like, so it just depends on the circumstances. But again, uh, and we, well, one, th- one thing that we didn't mention is his defense. I feel like his defense, will, you get him for the defense is what you really get him for. Um, oh, ben, ben Simmons will help he, quite defensively. Oh, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Like, um, you know, like he's he's definitely far from a liability on defense. Yeah. So, like, well, you know. Ben Simmons isn't in a position to, to argue and negotiate. It's like, hey, Ben Simmons, you're coming off the bench. You're going to be, you know, in the six-man role. Uh, but here's why. Here's also why I would – so, like, because you would have to do – what, you'd have to do, like, Russell Westbrook. Hey, let's, let's see exactly how that could work because um, – um, because I know with uh, let's see, Brooklyn, and then I just want to see how far or how much do we need to add Ben Simmons and Kyrie Irving. And then you add Russell Westbrook, Patrick Beverly. Uh, shoot, you'd have to give up Lonnie Walker. So you basically would have to give up everything essentially. Uh, and then, like, a Damian Jones, that get you to the money? Get you close enough. Yeah, so it gets you close enough. So, you basically, you'd have to add Westbrook, Beverly, Walker, and Damian Jones to get Kyrie and Ben Simmons. <clears throat> it's the only way you'd be able to get both of those guys. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it would be – it'd be tough. It'd be tough. I'd have to – I'd have to you, – you'd almost have to – Convince them to give you a pick. Um, so that that's the big problem. Um, yeah. So nah, Patrick Beverly would be enough. Uh, I don't believe because uh, Kyrie Irving and Ben Simmons is seventy million dollars. Russell yeah. Westbrook is only forty-seven million. Plus Patrick Beverly would only get you sixty million. Um, which I don't know if that with the one hundred and twenty-five percent rule. Uh, Oh, I guess it does. It does clear it with the 125 percent rule. The Lakers aren't going to want to take on 12 million in salary, though. They're, they're not like even even if they don't have to give up first, because yeah. that 12 that 12 million in salary is like 40 million, <laughs> like after everything. So they they you they would give up. They would give up Lonnie Walker. They they would get as close to that 70 million in salary as possible. Um, so I just yeah, I, I, like they're not going to do Beverly and I mean maybe you never know, but. Realistically, yeah. I mean, Jeannie already doesn't want to spend money. You think she's just going to take on an extra 12, 12 million in salary just for the sake of taking on another 12 million in salary? Yeah. I don't see it. You'd have to, like,